Check this out. Today is the day. Of course, today is the day. I mean, every day is the day. But today is the day of the of the inauguration, and uh, it's always fascinating the the jargon they use, the language they use. A peaceful transition of power. Transition of power. I mean, what kind of power is that really? <laughs> It's something that very few people really think about, which is actually something that I'm encouraging here. Even though one of my personal challenges is that I'm thinking too much. It's been always one of my challenges in my life. But also something, also something I'm drawing attention to here is really that as we realize our own challenges and as we face our own challenges, we can work through them. But if we're just focusing on things outside of us, like politics and the injustice outside of us and how we are programmed ever since the beginning of time to just, yeah, look outside for answers, look outside for freedom, struggle for freedom, fight for freedom, fight for justice. Yeah, there's really no surprise that we're so confused. You know, and if you, if you look at people like this, I mean, even politicians are people. But we have become these puppets. The politicians are these puppets. That's the thing about the well, the political system or the yeah, the system that we are serving. It's built on that ideology of power, and we always have been striving for a better system. But that's part of the problem because it's impossible. Because the power that is inherent in a system that that comes from having a position of power, this kind of power corrupts. Really, not this power. You know that will make any difference i mean no president can really help create a better world the transition of power <laughs> another one of my favorite uh, terms that is being used in politics is uh, intelligent briefings <laughs> it's almost as insane as peacekeeping forces or freedom fighters i mean those things we they, they're just Kind of, we get used to that and we don't question that anymore, but that's exactly where it begins as we question things, as we also question ourselves. So we can really find, yeah, you know, me in my shadow, me in my own dark side, because the darkness that controls this world is in all of us. If we just look at politics and if we're trying to fight for a just world and, 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 and if we just continue to struggle, you know, to look for money and power and things outside of us, we never understand that. Because it's in us, the answers lie in us. As we, we connect ourselves to that source, which is God. It's not outside of us. Like the journey to the promised land, which all cultures have embarked upon that journey ever since the beginning of time. Where we think there's a land somewhere where milk and honey flows and there's justice for all and all men will be free. This journey actually leads within because, because human beings have been controlling this world and dominating this world and there always has been this struggle for injustice. Countless revolutions have been fought. And now we are hoping that a new president is going to make things better. And people are so hyped and pumped up about that, you know, and if you look at our military, and he's also going to talk about our military and how to give people jobs. <laughs> well, people are having jobs and get paid, they're also slaves and they have a boss. And even the, the owner of a company has a boss. And even not that boss has a boss and has a boss. And even the president has, well, not just a boss, he has bosses. Which are really those who control the world, like the power elite. And it's really beyond conspiracy theory, because there's a truth to that. You know, it's been always like this. Ever since the beginning of time, the masses have been exploited by those in power. So what is new? And what are we expecting from a new president? I mean, give me a break, all right? <laughs> All of these things are somehow prearranged. I mean, when we talk about free elections, I think the one thing that Trump really said, and there's really a truth to that, is that the elections are rigged. It's a rigged system. There's no doubt about that. But it's time for a real transition of power. And that is the transition of the power outside of us, where we're trying to have power over people, or power in terms of money, and power in terms of uh, whatever it is we seek for ourselves towards the inner sense of power, of empowerment, of realizing that I am powerful, that I am free. Somebody told me a long time ago, we are 
the chosen ones. We are the ones we've been waiting for. Not Trump, not any president, not any leader, not a savior. No Jesus is going to do that for us. No guru. But it's us, the people. Well, anyway, this trumps everything. There's power in the word. But what precedes the word is the thought. And really thoughts are energy. And there are many people who say, you know, we need to suspend thought. We need to go beyond thought. I disagree in that, that I believe it's really, where do our thoughts come from? Are our thoughts just a matter of thinking about all the things we have to do, day in and day out, and we think and we think and we think about those things? And we think about what we heard on television or what we read in the newspaper, and we think about the million things we have to do, or do we use our thoughts to understand, to develop understanding, to get to know ourselves, to get to know others? And then when we connect the two, when we connect thinking with our words, and our words are a reflection of our true thoughts, and then of course also connecting our words to our actions. That's also something that I'm learning, not just to talk about it, but to do something with that. Don't just realize, actualize. Do something with that. That's really the missing link. And that's, in German we say, die Macht des Machens. Machens in German, Machen is doing. So that's the power of doing. Or even somebody else told me in San Francisco something interesting, which I put a nice little spin on that. Don't just talk about how to walk on water. Actually walk on water. 